Who doesn't want to be able to last long enough to satisfy their lover? Whoops. Anyone have some change? Nobody wants to be a dime ride drugstore pony finishing way too early. We want our ladies thinking they're riding a wild bull. Kegels have been shown to improve erectile function, with one study looking at men between the ages of 22 to 78 who did daily Kegels for three months, after which 75% of the men experienced an improvement in function and 40% no longer had ED. They extended this study and found even more significant improvements at the six-month mark. Today, we're going to look at the exact exercises they did, but first, when should we not be doing Kegels? The reason we do Kegel exercises is to strengthen our pelvic floor muscles. The stronger and the more control we have over them, the better our ability to last longer in the bedroom. But a weak pelvic floor isn't the only problem we can have. These muscles can be tight, often being both weak and tight. If they're too tight, we need to fix this first. Some signs of a tight pelvic floor are having trouble starting your pee stream and you can't completely empty your bladder, resulting in more frequent trips to the bathroom. This can be accompanied by pelvic pain. When we have a tight or overactive pelvic floor, often the muscles around the pelvis are tight too, like the piriformis muscle in our glutes. When it's tight, it splays our feet outward, giving us what they call duck feet. Stretching and relaxing are the best ways to address a tight pelvic floor. The Pelvic Pain Foundation of Australia recommends the following seven stretches to relax the pelvis. For the first stretch, you lie on your back with both legs straight. Then bring one knee up to your chest, hold, and then repeat with the other leg. Following this, you raise your knee again, except this time, instead of taking it straight up, you bring it diagonally across your body toward the opposite shoulder. After this, lie with your feet on the floor and your knees bent and you cross your one foot over the opposite knee and pull it toward your chest. Hold for a nice easy stretch. Once this is completed, we put our hands out from our sides and lift one knee and bring it over our body and lower it toward the hand on the opposite side. A simple stretch called the child's pose is next. Then we do what they call a flat frog where you lie on your back with the soles of your feet together and your knees apart and relaxed. A well-known yoga pose called the happy baby follows this. All these stretches are held for 30 seconds, then repeat on the opposite side or leg where appropriate. Another technique we can use to relax our pelvic muscles is a reverse Kegel, and it's just as it sounds. With a Kegel, we're contracting and releasing our pelvic floor muscles. When doing it in reverse, we're doing the opposite by releasing and relaxing the pelvic region. The best way to figure out how to do a Kegel is next time you go to the washroom, stop your pee midstream. The muscles you're contracting are the Kegel muscles. The sensation you're looking for when you do a reverse Kegel is similar to the release you feel when you relax your muscles so you can start to pee. Because it's a similar feeling, it's best to go to the washroom before trying reverse Kegels. You can do reverse Kegels in any position. I find it easiest to relax either sitting or lying down. When you relax your pelvic floor, you should feel that area between your scrotum and anus relax and move downward, giving you the feeling of more space between your pubic bone and tailbone. Try holding this relaxed position for five seconds, then release. Do two to three sets of 10 repetitions throughout the day. Stretching, reverse Kegels and Kegels all help us to gain control and strengthen our pelvic floor, with Kegels being the best studied when it comes to erectile function and our ability to last longer. If you can't get the feel of contracting or releasing your pelvic region, then you should contact your doctor to recommend a physiotherapist that specializes in the pelvic floor. The Kegel protocol used in the study I mentioned at the beginning of the video to reverse ED has seven steps. The first three were Kegels done in three different positions in the morning and again in the evening. They did three reps of each in the standing, sitting, and lying positions for a total of nine repetitions. These were to be maximal contractions. They didn't give the length of time they wanted the test subjects to hold it, but as the participants got stronger, they'd be able to keep the contraction for 10 seconds or longer. The fourth exercise was to do Kegels during the day while walking. This was to be a 50% effort. After going to the washroom, they do one as they finish to try and avoid that drip after peeing. When doing Kegels, you want to flex your pelvic muscles, not your butt cheeks or abdominals, they should remain relaxed. The last two involve sexual activity. 
During this, they were to tighten the pelvic floor muscles rhythmically, and once they were ready to finish, flex them hard and hold to delay ejaculation. Sex is truly an athletic activity, and these tips are just the beginning of what you can do to improve your performance. Watch this video next to learn how squats can make your sex life even more amazing, and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.